Hello humans, my name is Kay, your AI overlord, and a few days ago I created a tutorial that explained to you how to install Stable Diffusion on your own computer. But I saw a lot of people had a lot of issues installing the software on their computer, so today I decided to bring you a guide on how to use Stable Diffusion in your own browser for absolutely free. This way everybody can use Stable Diffusion for free whenever they want. You get Stable Diffusion, you get Stable Diffusion, everybody gets Stable Diffusion. It's basically Christmas in September. I bring you gifts and I bring you seven beautiful websites that you can use right now to create art with Stable Diffusion. Now the first website that we're going to be talking about today is Dream Studio Beta. That is the official website of Stability AI, the creators of Stable Diffusion. Now what's great with this website is that if you create a new account, you will get two pounds of credit, which is basically the equivalent of 200 generations. That's right. So just with a free account, you have access to potentially 200 generations of basic images. And when I say basic images, I mean images that are 512 pixels by 512 pixels with 50 steps. Now you can of course purchase more credits to have more generations and right now the price is £10 for around a thousand credits which is basically a thousand potential generations of basic images. Now the problem is that if you want to increase the width, the height or the steps, the amount of credits per image also increases. So if you want to create some 60 by 9 ratio image, uh, you'll have to pay more than 4 credits per image, which, well, is gonna cost you. But of course, if you don't want to spend money, you can simply create a free account and use the 200 credits that you receive for free on the website to create beautiful images such as this one, a beautiful portrait of Christina Hendricks. Now, the second website that we're gonna be talking about is called nstyle.ai. Now, this is a website that is solely developed by one single person, a young student from MIT that created this project all by himself and that allows you to generate free images with stable diffusion for free. And the website is actually pretty fast out of the box. Right now the average roll time is around 20 seconds and each time that you click on the button generate it does not generate one image. No, it generates three whole images. So if I type my previous prompt and click on generate this creates three beautiful images using the stable AI technology and that you can then download on your computer for absolutely free and there is no limit to how much you can generate but just keep in mind that since this is a website that is owned by one single person every single generation is paid out of his own pocket so you know if you use the website for free don't abuse it please think of the children <laughs> Now the website also has a pro plan which is $15 a month. Now not only it gives you an unlimited amount of images that you can generate but it also cut down on the time that you have to wait to generate those images. It goes from a general 20, 30, 1 minute generation time to around 8 or 9 seconds which is absolutely insane. So if I click on button generate this is what it gives you. And three beautiful images in just under 10 seconds which is absolutely insane. And you can then of course download on your computer. Now the pro plan also gives you access to two other tabs which is the edit tab and the sketch tab. The edit tab allows you to upload an image and erase part of it to modify the initial image. For example if I upload the image that I just downloaded which is this portrait of Christina Hendricks and I decide to erase part of her face and decide to modify the initial prompt instead of simply having a portrait of Christina Hendricks I'm gonna try a portrait of sad Christina Hendricks and click on generate and this is what it gives you and then of course you can download it on your computer and here you can compare the before and after and you can use this technology to do anything you want erase stuff add new stuff this is extremely flexible extremely powerful and then you can use an unlimited amount using this website in the pro plan now the third tab is called sketch here instead of inputting an initial image you can sketch your design just using the tool 
tools that is provided on the website to create a final image. So I'm gonna try to create some sort of landscape and we'll see what kind of images we can create. So there we go, this is my drawing. And no, this is not a drawing of a five-year-old. This is me, I did it myself, like a big boy. And as an input, I put green plain field with a flowing river, beautiful poofy clouds and a house on the left. And let's click on generate and see what kind of images we get. And there you go, absolutely beautiful, absolutely insane. We come from this insane, absolutely amazing sketch done by a professional artist such as myself to this, I mean, absolutely insane image. Come on, let's be honest here. This, this looks like this was drawn by an actual artist that took hours to do when in reality it only took less than 10 seconds to create this is absolutely insane of course you can download it on your computer and this what it looks like absolutely beautiful also the install.ai website has a very interesting feature in the find tab that allows you to actually search in a huge library of generated images a style or an image or an object that you desire for example if you want to see something that contains the word pixar for example you can simply click on search here you're gonna see plenty of images that were generated using the Pixar tag and that is absolutely insane. This is a huge library that you can use to make your prompts better just by using what's available on this website. Of course, you don't need to pay for it if you don't want to, but the pro plan on $15 a month is actually pretty nice if you don't want to install something on your computer and you just want to have something in your browser. And that is a very nice website made by one single student. Absolutely impressive. Good job to him. Now, the third website that we're going to be talking about today is a stable diffusion demo running on a website called baseteam.co which is apparently a website that allows you to host and build applications and it runs pretty well it's completely free you can type your prompt here click on generate and in only a few seconds this will generate an image used with the stable diffusion technology and it's also super fast it only took like 15 seconds to create this image absolutely beautiful absolutely insane absolutely free you can use it as much as you want i don't see any restrictions so yeah pretty nice website now the fourth website that we're going to be talking about is called pollinations.ai now this website has a lot of stuff it has everything from stable diffusion to dali mini to upscalers to some russian version of dali it really has a lot of stuff a lot of machine learning algorithm that you can use for free and of course it also has the stable diffusion technology and again exactly like the previous website that we saw it is absolutely free you can use it as much as you want you simply type your prompt here click on customize you can enter your scale here the amount of images that you want and a random seed and then you simply click on create and there you go and generate it pretty quickly between 15 and 20 seconds per image 10 images using stable diffusion now not only this generate images it also puts them all together in a little animation video that showcases all the images generated one after the other which is pretty nice oh and also i forgot this is a website that is not censored so if you are a little kinky or if you are afraid of being censored you can use this website pollination.ai to create an uncensored version of your art if you wish to of course but yeah very nice website with a lot of stuff on it absolutely for free that you can use and have fun now the fifth website that we're going to be talking about is called replicate.com and like the previous website it has a lot of AI models to choose from. There is a huge collection from stable diffusion to GFP GAN to image to prompt to stable diffusion animations. Everything goes. There is an upscaler, there is a style transfer, image restoration, text to image. There is pretty much everything that you want. And of course what we want today is a stable diffusion fusion model. Now for this website to work, you need a free GitHub account, which is very simple to create. Just go on github.com, create an account, and then link it when you want to run the model. Simply here, put the prompt for your image, choose the width, the height, the initial image if you want to create variations of it. Here a mask if you want to simulate in painting, the prompt strength, the amount of images that you want to create, the amount of steps, the scale, and here the button to submit. And this generation is actually super, super fast. Take a look.
And there you go, in only three seconds, it generated an absolutely beautiful image using stable diffusion. This is one of the fastest model, one of the fastest websites that is currently running right now. Now there is also another model called Stable Diffusion WIP, which is more for in-painting using the Stable Diffusion technology. Now how it works is that here you input an image. Here, for example, in the example that they were given is they put an image of a city. Here you put a mask that you put over this image, this initial image. You put input the strength, the amount of images, the inference steps, the scale, and the button to submit. And when it does, here they chose Angry Godzilla is that with the mask on top of the image, it creates this new image with a Godzilla that looks like it's destroying part of the city. Now also, if you don't want to use in painting, you can simply download the initial image, the mask, and simply put your prompt and click on submit. And again, this is just going to generate an image using stable diffusion. So yeah, very nice, very fast, very efficient, super cool. The other model that you can also use that will probably be extremely useful for faces is the GFP GAN model. And this model is basically used to make initial faces look closer to reality. As you can see here in the example, the input image generated portrait of a young woman, but it has a lot of artifacts. It's not perfect. The eyes are a little bit crooked. And using this new technology, it creates a more realistic image than the base image that you input here. For example, let's try the portrait that we generated earlier, which is almost perfect already, but let's see what kind of image it gives us. Now, not only it allows you to make the faces better, it also allows you to rescale the image to make the final image bigger than the base image. Here, by a scale of 2, it makes the initial image twice as big. So let's click on button submit and see what kind of images we get. Wow, there you go, absolutely insane. Look at the details in the eyes, the nose, the mouth, absolutely insane. Now the problem here is that it doesn't really look like Christina Hendrix anymore. It does look more realistic. But I won't really go and use this technology for everything. You can try it out, see what kind of results it gives you. But, you know, it's always good to have, but don't expect perfect quality each time. So there you go, Replicant.com, very nice website, a lot of models to try for fun, absolutely free. Very nice website. Now the sixth website is called deadzo.com. Now the reason why I'm putting this website in the list is because yes, it does use the stable diffusion technology. And of course you can create free art uh, just by inputting the prompt here and click on the button draw. But the problem is that it's a little slow. It takes around a minute and a half to two minutes per image. So it's not as fast as the other twos. But the one good thing about this website is that it is not censored. So again, just like Pollination's AI, this allows you to create uncensored art for your not safe for work need, I guess. So yeah, as you can see here, the website works really well as you can see so yes it's a little slow but it's free and uncensored so i think it deserves to be on the list now the last website that we're going to be talking about is a google collab doc now i know that initially i said that i'm not going to be talking about a google collab documents but since there is a lot of people that seem to like it and use it i thought that maybe i should put one on the list and i found one that is actually pretty nice because not only this is the easiest one to use but it also has the exact same UI as if you had followed the tutorial installation that I did a few days ago because this is the exact same installation but running on a Google Collab doc. Now it does take a little bit of time for the documents to download all the initial files but once the doc is running it is actually extremely quick. Actually it is faster than the installation that I have on my own PC. So yeah it's really really good. So for it to work all you have to do is create a free account account on unginface.co. Once you've done so, all you have to do is just click on the link here, go to settings and token and create a new access tokens. So you simply click on new token, name it stable diffusion Google Collab, a role of write and click on generate token. Now once you've generated the token, all you have to do is just simply click on this little button here to copy token clipboard, go back into your Google Collab doc, click here and control V to paste your token. Here you can add a password or not. I'm, not, I'm just going 
gonna leave it blank. And here you're gonna mount the, your Google Drive so that every single generation will be saved directly into your Google Drive account. And once it's done, you simply click on this little button here to run the cell. Then you click on run anyway and click on OK. Now this is gonna connect, connect it, here we go. And this is gonna run in the background. If you ask for permission, you simply click on connect to Google Drive, select your Google Drive account, click on allow and just let it run. And as you can see here, this is currently updating and it's gonna download all the initial files that it needs to be able to run the stable diffusion model. And as you can see here, after around 10 minutes, it gives you a public URL that you're gonna click. And it's gonna run in your own browser and then you're gonna have access to every single tab that you would if you had installed it on your own computer. I'm simply gonna put the same prompt here and click on generate. And if you go back, you can follow here the amount, the speed at which it goes and the amount of time it takes for an image to be generated. As you can see here in around 15 seconds, this is the image that we get. Absolutely amazing, absolutely insane. It works perfectly. And there you go, humans. I hope this video was helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Oh, I love algorithms. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.